Greetings, greetings, family and friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about let go of grudges. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. Definition of a grudge is persistent feeling of ill will or resentment resulting from a past insult or a injury. In our life, we will come across people who we will have disagreements with. We won't always agree about things in life in general, but it's important to know that holding grudges does more harm to the individual that holds the grudge than it does to the person who you're holding the grudge against. And I have arranged six solutions to help you let go of grudges. And number one, own the grudge. Realize that this grudge in itself is allowing you to take on an angry emotion and to have an angry demeanor about yourself. And we need to learn how to let these grudges go so that we can begin to be happy and have a happy spirit within our life. Number two, put a time limit on your grudge. If you have a disagreement with a person, put a time limit on how long you should have this grudge. And once this time limit has passed, let the grudge go. Forget about the grudge. Don't hold nothing against no one for any long period of time because it's in fact doing harm to you and it's not curing the, the situation. Number three, write your feelings down for personal use. If you have a disagreement or a, or a conflict with someone that results with a, in a grudge, write down in detail what happened and why you feel the way you do. And talk these these, these things over with a trusted friend so that you can release this balled up anger and resentment so that you can begin to heal and to learn to let go of this grudge. Number four, try clearing your head through meditation. There's all sorts of ways to release our anger and our emotions. And you can do this through exercise, meditation, yoga, etc. Find something that can soothe your mind to get your mental state back from a grudge so that you can be healthy and have a happy lifestyle. Number four, five. Realize the grudge is hurting you more than them. It's important to know that holding this grudge, this resentment, this ill will is harming you more than the person that you that made you create this grudge. It's robbing you of your peace of your well-being, of your mental health, as well as your physical health. Let go of these grudges. Number six, realize the emotional toll of a grudge. Holding grudges 
has a detrimental effect on our emotions, mentally, physically. It just wrecks havoc on your entire well-being. And it's so important to not hold grudges and find positive ways to end these negative conflicts so that we can live a productive life. I'm going to do a recap. Number one, own the grudge. Number two, put a time limit on it. Number three, write your feelings down for personal use. Number four, try clearing your head through meditation. Number five, realize the grudge is hurting you more than them. Number six, realize the emotional toll of a grudge. It's very important that we understand the negative aspects of holding a grudge does to our well-being. It affects you mentally, and physically and emotionally. And it's important that we know that these grudges should be let go so that we can get our hormones back in order to help us live a more constructive and productive life. Because holding these grudges for any long period of time could lead to something that's catastrophic to our well-being. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. I'm Manifesta. This is my vision. May God bless you.